Hi everybody, it's Adam and we are here at STS in San Diego and uh, we're answering your questions that you posted at heartvalveblog.com. I'm very fortunate to be here with Dr. Vincent Gaudiani who I've known for several years now. Uh, Vincent, uh, Dr. Gaudi pr practices in Northern California and the question is, as a surgeon, if you were to have to become a patient knowing all that you know, what would you give as advice if, to yourself if you were actually that patient? It's an excellent question and the first part of the answer is cardiac surgery more than any other specialty is about outcomes. So wh whoever you decide to go to, you should be able to find out what their outcomes have been over quite a long period of time. Not the last three cases. You know, that's the way our brains were designed, to do stories. What happened last week? You know, what happened over the last five years? How good are their outcomes? Because it's very hard to be who you are if you died during the operation or you had a serious complication. So once you actually know numbers, five-year results, for instance, then the next thing I do is go and talk to several people who have good results and ultimately choose someone whom you're comfortable with, someone with whom you feel comfortable as a person because it's much more likely that you'll do well and that you'll be emotionally whole afterwards if you feel like you were cared for by someone who you yourself were comfortable with as a person. So th those would be my two highest recommendations. And then after that, look into the hospital and the various other things. But the two key ideas are how good are this person's results or this unit's results? And am I comfortable with this man? Thanks, Adam. And Dr. Agagayani, those are great points. And just a, a follow-up, and as I remember this as a patient, I get lots of questions sometimes. How, how do I get these results from the surgeons? How do I know? Can I trust what they're saying? Do they publish them? How, what, right. that's what's a good, the standard? That, that's an excellent question. And the answer to that is, first of all, very shortly, if not already, Consumers Union has some preliminary stuff up that they got from the Society of Thoracic Surgeons, which is sort of the overall group that uh, guides uh, cardiac surgery, and it's, we're actually uh, we're at a meeting there today. Adam and I are both at this meeting. So STS has these results, and they will make them public, uh, uh, and they are making them public on a website. But the surgeon himself should show you uh, results uh, in a published form or on a website. Uh, because you want to make sure they do a lot of this kind of surgery and that they've done it well in the past. And so just being told that they've done it well is not wouldn't be enough for me. I'd actually want to see the numbers and then make sure you're comfortable with them as a person. Great. Well, as always, you've been a great supporter of our website, helping out, contributing, giving your advice and counsel. We've also done incredible things for uh, many of the patients who may actually be watching this who have come to you for surgery. So on behalf of all of us, I just want to say thank you and keep up the great job and, and look forward to chatting with you in the future. Same goes with you, Adam. You've done a great job helping people to know what to do when they have a facing valve operation. Good for you. Thanks so much.